Greg here. Welcome to another episode of The Journey of the Tarnished Aragath. This is episode 4. Tarnished. And we are going up Stormwell Castle this time. Castle Morn is done. And Aragath is resting after the fight with the minor Erdry Avdar. And uh, nothing much has happened in between that and this. We are at the Stormhill Shack Greys and we are going to go up north and we know who is waiting for us over there but Aragatha has no idea anyway without further ado let's get into it all right we're doing this and on the way we have a bunch of soldiers let's take out these losers But before heading into the castle, Argad is going to take a small detour to the right. Ah, the bridge. He comes up on a bridge. And we are going to meet that NPC. Let's see what he says. He notices a very weird, old, not human, something sitting there. With, for a moment, he thinks, if, is this a spider that has been grafted? But he quickly dismisses because she doesn't attack him. So he just goes, proceeds forward. And let's see what he says. Please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Oh, bless you. Oh, oh. Head to the foundation of gold tarnished. Traverse, Rhea Lucaria, Glintstone Eventide, and reunite the half crescents at the Grand Lift. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Only, why should that matter? Stormvale Castle still stands tall. Okay, he's taken her by, but doesn't really react. You, you, oh, head traveler. Herga just bows, takes his hand back, and proceeds to go to the length of the bridge. Just to see what is over there. Oh, we do have something. Nomadic cookbook. All right, and we can go down. Huh? That's definitely going to kill us. But what is over there? I think it's just end of the map, and I can see a. Did I just see a bridge. Or was it my... Felt like I saw an arch. I don't think I there's anything over there. It's just my brain filling some gaps. Let's just go all the way. Whoa, how did this guy die? Oh no, brother. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Thank God for that blood. Blood stain. And we are going somewhere. I'm not sure where it's leading somewhere up we're supposed to go into Stormvale castle but as always elden ring gets distracted and take up a different completely different route what are you looking at eagle so that's where i came from aragath is just Argat and Torrent are just going up with the flow. Oh, there are wolves here. Uh, they, uh, they pose no threat. We can... We can just keep going. If they attack us, we'll take care of them. And there are more wolves. I'll leave you guys alone. Oh, Lyrnia of Lakes already? I didn't know this was a way to come come to Lyrnia of Lakes. There's just I just chanced upon it. 
the wolves aren't attacking me so i'm just gonna continue forward i don't think i should be going here because i really haven't reached the round table hold and there is a grace right here i am going to light it just to save time oops Found a grace. Where is this? Oh. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you. Mm. If you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start. Whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. Finally. I can take you to the round table hold. Gathering place of tarnished champions. Guided by grace. Mm, not yet, not yet. Melina, give me a give me a minute. Let me just explore this place. Oh, Bok! As Aragad was about to leave, he saw Bok. What Good are you doing you. here, Master? Do you he nods. remember me? Of course. I'm Bok, the demi-human. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Don't tell me what I don't I don't remember what don't tell me is. Master, I was wondering oh, that's it. Do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would well rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. <laughs> the sweetest, sweetest soul in all of lands between, I think, altar garments. And I have nothing for that. Sorry, sorry, Bob. Oh, Not now. Going so soon. Please do be safe on your journeys. You too. Lyurnia of Lakes, and we haven't yet met Margit, and we haven't gone to Roundtable Hall, though we have got the invitation from Melania to do that. Let's get inside here, and Church of Erith. That's Marika. I don't know why the church is named something else, but even Church of Ella is named something else. Yo, this dude. I I mean I know that he was he, the, I remember this NPC but I don't know anything about him I don't even remember his name okay we found a sacred pier and Aragad approaches the man sitting by Marika's statue beautiful place you have chosen man this is this place is absolutely amazing to come and relax you're tarnished aren't you mm -hmm. then Perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Blintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Well, bless you, bless you. You are a I true saint. My name is Tobes. Tops. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. <laughs> oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. I can see All that over there. Those have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the East Gate leading to the capital, and the South Gate leading here. 
As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. <laughs> Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a blunt stone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the academy. I'll think about it, Tom. I got just nods. Doesn't really say anything. All right. I'll leave you to it. So Academy of Player Rukaria is something Raga definitely knows about. Again, never visited. Never been invited. The likes of him never really get to go there. But at least he can see that now. That it's up there. It's reachable. Nothing is off limits with the shattering. So that's a good thing. So he's definitely going to go there. But not now. Let's turn back. Oh. What the fuck is this? I honestly don't remember this. Stoneville Castle. There's an entrance from here. Did you know this? So I was exploring. Uh, I mean, you know, the, so what I did was before heading up towards Margate, I was, there's a bridge here where there's a two finger crown, right? Reading there. Then you come up over here to Lake of Lernia, right? And over there is a church. Boch is there, church is there. So while coming back, I was going back. Huh? So while, uh, while being here, I was just going back to Margate. And so I was just going this way, and this is something I missed in the in in the first run. I never, I didn't even know this place existed. Like when I played the game first time, right? So we, I was just going this way, and uh, sorry, wait. So easy to miss that, to be honest. I let me show you how I discovered. So I was here like this. I was going this way, and thankfully I didn't even see it in any video. So I'm so happy about that. Uh, I just found it out found out just now oh where is it what the fuck it vanished what the hell wait wait see it's so difficult to even even after seeing it i don't know where it is wait somewhere here oh there it is so there is an entrance i was like what the fuck and i entered inside and it's stormville castle So you can, is it like you can skip Margit and just go here? Or maybe you just reach. So I'm just going to go inside through here this time. Here. The church of uh, Thops is a sorcerer's Thops. That bowl guy. And Irith. It's here. You know, have you been inside here? I'm here, like, this is the... Oh, she... What the fuck? Man, every time something new is happening. Anyway, what's up? So, if you... Wow. After defeating Godric... Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even know that. Look at the way it's connected. It's insane. No, I don't remember it, is what I'm saying. I never used that tunnel. I, I don't think I used that tunnel. I have no memory of it anyway. I just saw this lady. She was dead. She was dead. Why aren't you dead? You know who she is? The one in the castle mound who died. Yes, yeah, she, she's possessed now. Yes. 
That's what I'm saying. He's possessed now. He was uh, Edgar's daughter. Yeah, I don't have it. I didn't even know she comes here. Anyway. So. Going back to Aragat's story. After Aragat comes out of the Church of Erith, he sees a very unsettling sight of Irina standing by the grace, which took him by surprise. He's, just, he's like, why don't you... He's like con totally confused, but again, at this stage, nothing really surprises him. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata, and I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next, but when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. I thought the first we meet her is in Lyndall. I completely forgot that you can meet her elsewhere as well. I mean, after Lyndall, I thought she starts traveling uh, when you find her near the Three Finger. Apparently, you find her here. Hello? Would you donate them on a pilgrim when I eat one of those grapes? Okay. Argat is like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, he's not going to think about it right now. Something is totally MS. He's like, that was Irina. Why is she Hayata right now? That's what he he's thinking. And now I'm going to go back into that tunnel that I found that I have no memory of. I don't know what you can skip, but we'll see. So Aragad enters Stormvale Castle through a completely different way than the regular way of entering it. And he came upon this place by total happenstance and chance. And he's just going to take a look at the castle. He's just happy he's inside Stormvale Castle. And there... He sees a spirit in the same position as something he saw in one of the villages in Weeping Peninsula that he saw while he was exploring, very close to Castle Morn. He saw a village and there were people with yellow eyes, rats that were infected with a weird way. He has no idea what any of this means, but he did feel very uneasy being around that place. So let's talk. Abrevi is Gapes. Grapes. Gapes, it seems. Grapes. Uh, let's go read the lore. A yellowing, oozing eyeball of the infirm. The surface is shriveled and the inside is squishy. Not unlike a large, overly ripe grape. Damn. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. And we know where she's standing right now, so he's going to go give it to her, but... Before that, he's going to check this place out a little bit. He's like, what is happening? He has no idea what any of this is. The three finger, the the whole idea with the frenzy. Whoa. <laughs> Aragat continues forward and... He slows his pace as he comes upon the heart of the castle and he looks around completely flabbergasted as to how did he end up here so quickly and there is a figure he recognizes from myth from legend every tarnish has heard about Lord Godfrey the first Elden Lord and that's an imposing figure standing right there, even in a sculpted statue. That guy commands respect. Nargad is going to give him the respect he deserves. Looks around. Nothing much to see. This should be locked. Yep. Okay, the door to the outer 
door to the outer courtyard is barred. Where is the light coming from? The fuck? There's a sliver of light and I don't see any gap in the wall. Where was the light coming leak leaking from? There's a light leak. Anyway. Since nobody is here, Aragaz feels a little mischievous. Feeling mischievous, he climbs upon the throne and just sit and see what it feels like to sit on a throne. Can't deny it, that feels a bit strange sitting on a thro throne. Even though it doesn't really physically doesn't feel any different from sitting in any other chair, but there's a sense of something that goes washes over him. Anyway, he decides that it's not time to do any of this and just continue exploring the castle. So he's in the castle. There's nowhere to go, so he decides to head back. Oof, thank goodness that they didn't that we can't face Godric from this way. So yeah, Godric should be there. Like he's right behind that wall. And then we access this area. I mean they made it, they connected it, but it's not something that uh, screws up the game in any way. So you still have to face Margit and Godric. I think you only need three great rune to complete the game. So, so, so I'm going to give the grapes to the lady. And we are going to go back to Stormvale Castle the proper way. Bok, my friend, you're still there. Hayata, you're still here. All right, Hayata. So, Aragath is really curious about what's going to, what's going to happen to Irina in now Hayata. He has no idea that it's Aheta is possessing the body of Irina, so he's just gonna hand over the grapes. Would you donate to Nishabiri? I'm on a pilgrimage, and when I eat one of the so hands over the grape. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. He has no idea which finger. Thank you for the gesture. Can I talk to you more? You are most kind and may the blessing of the I think she's gonna go away when I rest. I think she's gonna go away from here. Yep. She is gone. Hey Bok, did you see the lady? Oh, you can't even ask her. Arga takes one last look at the path ahead. He knows he's gonna get here eventually. But right now, more important duty calls Castle Stormwind. And I hope there's nothing else to distract us. Front and Aragard just continues north to Castle Stormvale now, this time. No more distraction. Just straight to the castle. Natural 4? Yep. Wild Strikes. We'll check it out in a bit. A lot of soldiers. Oh my goodness. We have already faced that trebuchet kind of a thing. Aragat gets into the castle. Ah, uh, what is this thing called of a castle where... Rampa, no, Jesus. These guys. That's it, there you go. Okay, I'm going to destroy this as well just for the heck of it because it fired a torrent. So you can fire at me, but not a torrent. Alright, with soldiers dead, everybody done. We make up up our way to the castle. Alright, it's called Castle Ward Tunnel. That's what we are at. Use a secretary to increase, yes. And we know who is going to be there. Just let me just go have a quick peek and come back. I'm not gonna enter. Oof, can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. I love Margit. I love Margit. I love his dialogue. Foul tarnished. And before I hear that, 
thinking if I should go to the round table hall and come back. I think that would be the best option because I am at level 30 and getting the weapon upgraded is something that I should do for market, I feel, because otherwise I'm just going to struggle. Hmm. Maybe we'll go to Roundtable Hold after Margit, like face Margit once and then go to Roundtable Hold. I don't know which one is more story oriented. Can't make up my mind. I got this curious about the Roundtable Hold. Let's go there. And off we go to Roundtable Hold to where the champion tarnished are taken. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Arigato Baser, and we go. Round table hold. So as Aragat makes his way into the round table hold with Melina, he notices this grand place, which he has no memory of. I don't think he has ever been to a place like this. There's a lot of tarnished, but he keeps what Rani, or him Renella, because Rani introduced her as Renella to him, and he keeps what he said in mind that people and lads between have to be taken with a grain of salt. And that's what he keeps in mind as he decides to explore the place. He also notices something. Since he went to Stormvale Castle, the inside of the Stormvale Castle, and he saw the statue of Godric, and he's uh, sorry, statue of Godfrey, and uh, the statue that was lining the wall along with Godfrey was this one. He's a bit curious as to who this is. Anyway. That said, he's going to walk around the round table hall, he's going to look around. Aragath keeps his weapon inside and looks around, turns left and sees a less imposing figure and he knows the garb that the figure is wearing. These were given to prophets and, the, and he knows that the wheel that they wear around their neck is something as a symbolism to stay away from their teachings in a way. And he never paid much attention to them before his death. Anyways, things have changed now. So he's going to approach that very figure now as the figure turned towards him. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the round table hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers and explore the secrets of the golden order so that one day if a tarnished of the round table hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. Yes. What if I say I don't see it? Elgar just says yes. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? How are you teaching me heretical incantation? And how are you the one who is going to counsel for the Elden Lord from here? Doesn't make any sense because this guy is heretical and Golden Order doesn't consider him, but I guess the Golden Order really doesn't care at the moment, or the Greater Will doesn't care at the moment who becomes the Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Lord. Alright, sorry, I was out of focus. Anyway, back to... I don't have anything else to talk, so... Study incantations, and... Not right now. What are the incantations? Heals a small amount of HP. Two Finger has high hopes for Tarnished, that even if they should be wounded, even if they... even should they fall, they will continue to fight for their duty. Heals a small amount of HP. Okay, there's the same thing. Follow the path that has been set for you and you will make enemies of all others. The monk, the sorcerer, the ancient dragon knights and the scion of gold. Heed me. The lands between offers no welcome to the tarnished. What is this? In contention of the two finger faithful increases magic. Wow. Okay. Lands between offers no welcome to tarnished. Why, why were we called back? I think Marika, Marika called us. Hark, Tarnished, if you truly walk in faith, you must be prepared to reject all else. The flame of ruin is an anathema to earth tree. 
I'm going to learn this. But prophets sometimes glimpse it within the faith all the same. Sadly, when this occurs, their sole reward is banishment. Okay, that makes sense. So he knows how to do it. So he's, um, he's, uh, he's banished. Flame of Ruin is anathema. I think Flame of Ruin is from the giants up, up on the hilltops, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, not sure. Thank you. But he still supports Golden Order, which is... Salute you for your fate. Alright, so he makes... Continues left. And sees another strange figure. Who seems to be wearing a very absurd looking armor. But hey, this is Lance Martin. By the way, I love the armor. Absurd to Aragath. I don't believe we've met. No. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death Wamp. and weed their death root. Heed my warning. Whoa. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. I already killed a mariner. You know, Aragath is like looking at him down, scoffs, and just goes to the back pocket, picks up the dead root. Well, well. With a prowess for weed in death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to hunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to, and the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? I got this really curious. He has no idea who Gurang is, who, has, who the beast clergyman is, none of this. Everything is new. But at this point, like I said, he's curious. He's going to accept most of the things because he wants to see what's happening. He needs to become Elden Lord. He needs to know everything that's happening in Lands Between. Very well. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you. Of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. Let me open my map and round table hold is right there. And where is the red mark? That should be the red mark. Lending gate. Okay. Thank you, Vampire Hunter D. What is it? Still milling about. The map indicates where it will lead you to Garank. Alright, make his way to the next person. Another character I really like. I think I used his brother's whip to fight Melinia when I played the game first. When I played the game for the first time. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm... Well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way... Have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. No, I've been if you find her. her, please be sure to tell me. I got notes. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman. She's a servant to my... She's been my... I've lost count of them. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. <laughs> hey, you made it. Greetings. Nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. My name is Roderica. Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Yeah. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished. Had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. That makes the two of us, Rodriga. I got things in his head. It's all a bit much for me. I'm still looking. Queen Marika's statue. All right, Combat Colosseum. Aragat continues forward. To the bus to the last person in the room, at least. And as he goes towards him, he turns towards Aragat. There's some weird vibe that Aragat gets from this man that he's not sure. Reluctantly approaches him and just nods his head in greeting. Oh, this is a rare occasion. 
I can't remember the last time a new Tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Mm. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. I got new as soon as we saw him that this guy is a bit off. And with whatever he's saying, calling himself senior, he's not going to pick a fight. So he just nods his head. There's nothing left to say. Be at your leisure. After he passes the man, he comes upon the door to his left, which he goes up to see what it is about. Is it a shrine? But it seems the door is shut. So Arga just goes around exploring. And he comes upon a strange looking individual in another room. Everyone is strange here. People are strange when you're a stranger. Anyway. <laughs> what do you want? You got a guest gesture and that's it. it. Looks like someone else. Seems like Aragard met his match who is taking the war of silence just like him. And there is that crone that he met at the bridge, the finger reader. He remembers this creature. Again, he knows that it's not albinuric, it's neither human, so he has no idea what they are. As he continues to explore the round table hold, he comes across this balcony, which he looks down and he sees a lot of bloodstains. And, and he looks back, no one seems to be concerned. He decides he's going to take a look. With weapon ready at hand. And he takes a plunge down. Slowly goes around investigate. Looks at the blood. Like as to what happened. And his answer comes to him. Oh, someone named Matt Dung Alberic. Argath is completely taken aback by this, but Jesus, that dude is not joking. Jesus, this guy is my building with Melania. No, we were doing it so well. Did he just point out at me? Oh, this fucker is going to get it. And I need to get my grace back. Where did I die? Oh, thank goodness. Alright, Matt Dung Alberic. I'm gonna fight you without upgrading my weapon. 
without upgrading my weapon, I am going to fight the... Surprise, motherfucker. Surprise, surprise. That was that was a cheating that was cheating. Dude. There we go. You don't mess with Aragath. <laughs> Mad tongue. What else did I get? Let's see what is that about. Mad tongue. Tongue you. Lures and in invaders. This allows your world to be invaded without any furled finger cooperation present and it also shortens the in interval between windows of opportunity for invasion. Additionally, enables the arrival of second invader to join when a cooperator is present. Right, so this is for invaders to join in, which is awesome. Aragath continues to explore the round table hall. Breaks all this just to check. And there is an image of, I would assume that is Radagon. That's definitely not Marika because Marika doesn't have red hair. It's a beautiful painting of Radagon. And here you have Lord Godfrey, which said Orshad is back. Again, Bo. Every tarnish respects Lord Godfrey. And that's Queen Marika, always from profile. Where are you, Queen Marika? Aragat wonders as he looks around the paintings. He's just studying everything now that he's here. As he keeps exploring, he comes upon a misbegotten smith who seems to be chained to the wall. Wings clipped. He's sort of like an omen with with the misbegotten features. Aragat decides to, like I said, Aragat has a soft spot for Drown Rodden. He goes around and asks, "Your new face? No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing." Pain in this character's eyes, man, damn it. He points out at the maiden. Rodrika. Look how you boy here. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. And he points at the chain that he has. I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. No, don't read too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. 
My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Even time. Technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Wow, so he's really scared of Marika. Damn. Everything is making sense now, as you hear the dialogues and since you know the lore. It's a bit more... the dialogues hit you a little more harder. Anyway, let's strengthen the armaments. <sighs> let's take it up by two notches and that should be enough. I don't think I want to take it further more because I want to upgrade... Uh, I have other twin blades that I know I'll get. So let's maybe maybe one more and we do have the other one so let's go with this as well. Oh I need more runes. Alright, thank you, Master Yun. Even though Aragat doesn't know your name, I do know. Aragat pays his respect. A chest. Cerpress black crossbow, black key balls. Can I equip it? No? What do I need? Faith... No, Strength 14. Damn, man. That is sad. Eventually, I'll equip it. What's the lore on the weapon? Weapon of Srepus. Or Srep... Srepus? Srepus? Crepus? Crepus. I'll go with Crepus. Weapon of Crepus. Who served the two finger from the shadows of the round table. As a head confessor oh um i should have probably taken confessor maybe that would have fit more with the lore uh, of using twin blade and the crossbow maybe crepus is the one who taught uh aragath how to use twin blade all right one more door he goes inside and sees another tarnished sitting on the bed this one seems to have a very welcoming demeanor. Queen Maraca's painting by the earth tree, and he goes towards her. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Baldekin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. It's not because of the vulgarity of it. Argat is like, no. He's not going to let a stranger hold I understand. Your disdain is only natural. But should you change your mind, come pay me a Hmm. He's going to... He's going to go away. And then he sees a mirror with which he decides to change his... Uh, yeah, there is Saragath. Oh man, you've been through a lot. But I'm going to change that tattoo on his face. So Aragat decides to take out all his face painting because now he doesn't belong to any clan. He doesn't really belong to any anyone anymore. He's his own person. So he removes everything, goes back to just being simply Araga. Before, he wore the orange one just as a mark to indicate that he has taken a vow of silence. He still will maintain his vow till he beats Malenia. But so far, for now, I don't think he needs that. That is that face, that face painting is what got him into trouble in the first place with the Golden Order when they came to know that he's been doing that and they questioned him and he, they came to know he wouldn't speak and they came to know that he's taken a war of silence which is not allowed so he just goes back to being the red-skinned warrior and there's a man without any more makeups so as Aragat washes off his face paint comes out he sees that the man who called himself the senior is missing so he goes looking for him and he notices that the door to the study has been open exactly where the other one who has taken the wall of silence is standing so he goes inside to find that very man bent over a bunch of books a lot of books everywhere 
even though Aragato was walking around, looking around, he doesn't seem to care. He just bent over his books. Uh, what do you need? I have little time to spare. What do you mean a house guest? Since Aragat doesn't question, he can't ask. He just points around and asks, what is that? Oh, are you aggrieved at the notion you are but a visitant here? Then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. Okay, he's not really sure about what he just heard. But he just, no, he just stands Once there. Once the wisdom of the two fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These Nambi Bambi Tarnish think us no more than a shelter from the rain. Okay. He's very straight, at least. We've spoken long enough. I have matters to attend to. Okay, Aragat takes that as a indication to get the fuck out, so he's gonna leave. He's gonna leave and go towards Stormvale Castle. As he leaves the safety of the round table hall, Aragad finds his solace alongside a lone Caden mercenary, and the irony doesn't elude him, for he feels more at ease here than among the storied halls of the Round Table Hall. He then ponders, why him, when so many high-born Tarner are blind to the grace, he can see it clear as day. Though renowned in his own circle, in the grand tapestry of the greater will and demigods and gods, he was but a mere shadow, a nobody, really. Why him, he wonders. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to meet my favorite character in Elden Ring, Margit. He's my favorite character because I love his dialogue, I love how Anthony Howell delivered the voice acting for the character and yeah overall just absolutely love him so as Aragath approaches the castle stormville proper he feels there is a weird dread in the air and he's unable to make out what exactly it is he brushes it off thinking it's because of or it's rather the aftermath of fighting the mad tongue in round table hold so he just casually makes his way forward and tries to call for Torrent but Torrent doesn't respond which is a bit suspicious but he doesn't think much of it and continues to go forward. Okay, as he continues forward, I'm gonna let the man meet his first omen. I'll see you right after the cutscene. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Let it be Margit the Fell. 
Okay, here we go. No, Margaret, don't jump back. What the fuck? Oof, I thought Margaret is gonna fall right, right there. Okay, first hit. Landed. Strong dodge with market, you can't dodge. Okay. Oh. Whoa, fuck, I thought he's gone down again. Okay, we're doing good so far, we're doing good so far. I haven't shaved much of his health. Imagine if I would have come without visiting the round table hall. Shit. Damn it. Didn't even land a single hit. Shit. Oh, no, okay, you should go down with this. No. Okay, with this we definitely go down, yes. Thou art of passing skill. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. Okay, come on, Margaret. This move. Oh man, how do you how do you escape that move? Like that uppercut of his with his fucking magic stick. No 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 move move No 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 I thought I would fall down Get back get back When I have no Oh Calm the fuck down, man. I thought I would take him in the first try. Damn it. That was a good, good first try. Okay. Like Master Hugh says, no matter. Let's continue. Immediately. We're in the flow. We can get him. Almost got him. That was a good fight. Beginning he throws that stupid knife off his... We are changing a lot of blows there. Okay, here we go. Early critical. Oh, I didn't get hit with that. Fuck, well, it went right over my head. Thou art of passing skill. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. Ooh, what kind of combo is that, dude? Jesus. Margaret, what the fuck, dude? That was insane. Like, he didn't stop attacking at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was absolutely insanity. What is this? I had to fan a shape of gravity shockwave. Okay. Let's try... Let's try magic. Let's try magic. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Let's run towards him. Maybe I won't even get a single hit. This... Man... Jesus fucking Christ, this guy. That was 
kind of exchanging a lot of blows because I have the magic thingy applied, the grease. Can't, you can't exchange blow with Margit. You have to be careful. I don't know if I, I was doing... I have to check in the recording if I was doing more damage with the magic applied. Maybe a little more. Not by much. Okay, let's play carefully like the way, the way we played the first time. Oh, he immediately turns around and attacks. Damn it. Man, we don't get a chance to attack at all. That's crazy. Like, I haven't got a single chance to attack him. This attack of his stupid attack. My goodness. Thank God I was gone for that. Yeah, already wasted. Two of my... Because you have to attack a lot or a lot with the twin blade. Oh, I forgot again that he does one more attack. I should have dodged once more before. Holy fuck, I thought he fought, fell down. Oh, I escaped that, finally. More seriously. Ambition. Put to this. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Margaret. Come, 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 come at me. So, dodge once and twice. Okay, there. Come, come, come here, come here. Oh no, why did you dodge early? What do you do with that knife of yours? Oh, I go. Oh, 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 oh thank you, Barricade. Did you ask? No, if you have over smart, I'm gonna pull that omen thingy down. Oh, the tail attack. Oh, damn. So elegant the way he sometimes attacks with his hand, the gestures that he does with his hand after he attacks us. There we go, you go down. At least once. Oh, from back? What? No health went? Shit. Okay, I'll take this. There's nothing there, but... Just to satisfy my OCD. Yeah, come at me, come at me. One and two. Mm-hmm. Long. Half his health, man. I had got it down to Margit the fellow, and his health was right under that. Still enjoying the fight. Not finding him as difficult as I found him when I first fought him in the first playthrough. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, he is difficult. I won't like. Very difficult. No, 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 dude. Do, don't do. Don't joke around with. Margaret. Oh, my health. Okay. Come on, boy. Oh, sh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, I like it when he does that. Take your time, take your time. No need to hurry. Alright, come at me. One and two. And you go down. No? Shit. No, 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 no. Don't dance. Don't dance. Ring, 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 ring. Let him come to you. 
Okay, that didn't do. Ooh, okay, there he comes. No! What was I doing? What was I doing? Man, damn it, damn it. I got really confused with the FP and... Ah. One tip I have for you guys is... I Maybe you, you guys already know this. If you keep your down button held, it's going to take you back to the first equipped item. This one always gets me. Jesus. I'm dead, I'm dead. Come on, come on, Margaret. Bleed won't last forever. Jesus, I'm taking for shit. Okay. When you apply FX, when you apply FX to your blade, you play carelessly because you want to go and get the hits in because they're going to go away. And then you end up playing carelessly. So I'm just not going to put anything. Just going to play as it is normal and see how it goes. Just remove these. This as well. I wonder if there's any main world boss like Margate, Godric. Malinia, where we can play on top of Torrent. I don't think so. Dude, you never did that before. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and just jump, okay? Isn't that I'm jumping right to... Godric. No, not Godric. Godwin. Godwin. Alright, let's go. I wonder if there's a main world boss which you can fight with uh, Torrent on Torrent back. Maybe Radan? That's another epic cool cinematic fight, man. Damn, like, just so fucking good. Jeez, one hit has to land. Oh, the second hit also landed. Shit, this is bad. Really bad. Bad start. Okay, come at me. One and two. The thing is, he jumps backwards, so I can't really land my hit. And then he has his knife attack of his stupid as shit. Margaret, look at my fancy flask. Didn't like it. Dude, don't jump away, piece of shit. Bite me. Head on. Okay, there we go. 617. Okay, I get a free hit now again of your move and you got six hits in seven hit Jesus. okay i'm dead yep i'm dead i'm dead Ooh, i don't know how did i survive that i have to go towards him there's no other way a good good fight like head on <sighs> I got needs uh needs uh someone to cheer him on I 
never escape that. Never. Ever. What the fuck? I thought another knife was gonna come in. You hit me. You hit me. Jesus, the way he jumps, I, I feel like he'll go and land right where Godwin is. Come at me with that. Okay, even this will do. Bust. Well, thou art of passing skill. Warrior blood must have truly found thy vengeance. Tarnished. You come forward all of a sudden like that. Now, how do you have unlimited FP? couldn't get him because I had to heal. Dude, what the fuck? I don't know how to escape that. Really don't know how to escape that. Fuck. I'm worried for him falling. Because I want it to be a clean fly fight. I don't want him to fall. There's no way to heal like me, right? Other than last. fall in love with that dialogue how can you fear that dialogue you have to have like eargasms i didn't blink and my eyes are watery <laughs> what an epic fight loved it how long did it take me around 30 minutes not bad at all not bad at all oh my god my eyes my eyes grant us eyes should have blinked damn it hmm Eyes became dry, staring at the screen without blinking. Blinking. In the end, when he got up, <laughs> I thought he died. I left my right hand from the controller. Like it took my brain a second to like, in the panic, to go back and press the attack. Oof, that was uh, intense. Look at my health. I had no Estus. That was absolutely amazing fight. Thy Mega Flame? No, 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 I do have a little more flame than Mega Flame. He keeps saying that. Why are you standing on top of the grace? Sit down. Oof. Margit the fellow man. You were mine. Alright, how much uh, rune do I have? 12,000, that's it. That's it. That's it. It's not much. I have to enter here, right? All right, all right, lore time. As Aragat stands before the entrance of Stormville proper after defeating strange enigmatic guardian that he's calling, he has no idea who that is. He has never met an omen in his previous life. So it was all new to him. Eventually he's gonna learn the truth about Margit and who Omen are as he explores towards Lindel. That's something I'm telling you. But at the moment our character, he has no idea of Omen. He just he just thinks 
the person who him he, whom he met is a guardian of the place or someone who is kind of gatekeeping the path to the Elden Ring and that's what is going through his head but he's so determined that now he feels like he has more purpose in life not just being mere pawn who would be who was just a hired assassin and a nobody mercenary going and killing things that are afflicted by rot and now he's taking the whole idea of grace telling him to go for the Elden Ring a little seriously especially after defeating this very strong guard and he feels like there's something in him that is making him do it all right if i hope that wasn't too cheesy let's uh spend our grace and uh, come back thereafter all right so i'm gonna end episode four here because it's gone a little longer uh more than i expected because roundtable hall took a little longer than i expected speaking to everybody we did quite a bit in this episode uh aragatha went to lake leornia i still don't have i kept searching my memory for the tunnel that takes us to stormville castle uh even though it doesn't open the door to godric i couldn't uh, rehash that memory at all Tarnished. so that was a pleasant surprise we spoke to all the people at round table hall which was awesome and upgraded our weapon faced margit defeated margit within like i would say eight tries eight tries when i got him if i'm not mistaken and yeah so the next episode is going to be right into stormvale castle i'll try to trim it down so we can have godric's fight in that as well but you never know aragat sees new things he wants to tell the story this is a this is a game for aragat not for me because i've already played Elden ring so i know everything it's for aragat he's going uh, in and exploring the place so the story's point of view is of a character who is called back by grace and has no memory or idea of this place right so that's what we are that's what we are doing i hope i'm sticking to the theme with that said, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you did watch all the way. See you in the next one. Peace.